Another month, another loot anime. Uh, and this time it is my second loot anime in actually the space of two weeks because July's one was late um, and shipped, you know, start of September. And this is August's one, I believe, um, that shipped obviously at the end of August and has just arrived. Um, so yeah, as the usual, it's, it's a box of random goods. They're all anime themed, uh, hopefully, anyway. And yeah, that's about it, really. I can't remember the theme of this month, but the, the flyer at the bottom of the box will probably tell us. Um, and I think this month's one is the one I saw the advert for that mentioned there was an Evangelion item in it, which I'm very excited for. As usual, I'm not actually going to show you guys the inside of the box because that'll just give away what's inside. So I'm just going to kind of make a grab for stuff. Ooh, I feel a t-shirt. Ooh. That's a... Ooh, is this Astro Boy? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, right. I'm going to unfold the... Actually, no. I think I'll be able to get most of it in frame. If I pull this back a bit ugh, and move the box. Hang on. I'll be back. All right, then. So, this is the shirt. It's kind of like a tan colour, which is interesting because I don't have many shirts this colour. And... Um, so I can't read that, but that says Atomu, or Atom, because I believe Astro Boy's Japanese name is Mighty Atom. Uh, so yeah, that's actually really cool. He's like, you know, for those of you who don't know who Astro Boy is, he's like one of the oldest um, anime and manga characters. And yeah, he's got a very distinctive art style. Everyone's got massive hands and feet. If you've seen... Um, the movie Metropolis, the the anime movie Metropolis, not the sci-fi classic. Um, it's drawn in the same style. I think it's by the same, you know, the same guy. I can't remember his name now, but I'll I'll flash her up on screen because he's a really noteworthy thing. But that's a really cool T-shirt. Like, I like things that are well. Okay, it's not subtle, but I like things that don't just have like the name, you know, in a massive font or like. I like simplistic t-shirts, but I really like t-shirts like this as well. That's really cool. And I believe I felt another t-shirt in there, so I'm going to make a grab. Now, this may be the Attack on Titan one that was promised last time. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh, right, okay, hang on. I'll, I'll jump to when it's on here. Okay, so this one is Space Dandy. Now, this is an anime I've been meaning to watch for a while, but haven't got round to yet. Um... Which is going to be the theme of everything themed in this box, probably. It's a series I really want to watch, but never have. Space Dandies are, like, really good, apparently. It's kind of like a wacky Cowboy Bebop-ish thing. Uh, with the eponymous Dandy there. And his robot friend has got a really cool design. Um, and yeah, there's, like, a goose cat thing. I'm sure if you've seen, you know, Space Dandy in the comments, you're probably yelling at me for being weirdly inaccurate. But yeah, that's that's really cool. It's like... It's a bit of a smaller one in the middle. I will be honest, it it doesn't look quite as cool as the Astro Boy one. It's sort of... The effect is very... I don't know, it's very reminiscent of sort of like 80s and 90s t-shirts where you'd get like just a little bit of a license or whatever. But that is really cool. Now I'm going to keep this camera angle, I think, and just grab stuff from the box. Oh, okay, so... We've got a pin badge. All right, now, it's focused. Um, Rising Shield Hero? I think I've kind of heard of this. I think it's a manga series. And obviously this is the cover of the first issue, I suppose, by Aniko y yes, Yusagi. Yeah, I, I, I sort of, I vaguely heard of this series. It's, the art is interesting. I didn't know that was the Shield Hero uh, like, main character or anything. I, yeah, okay, so the, for the first time in loot anime, actually, it's referenced something that I'm very, very not aware of. Right, let's grab this next item. Ooh, <laughs> can we guess which anime this is from? It is indeed not the best girl, um, but, you know, Ray is still a cute. What is this, then? Ooh, it feels like a towel, uh... Is this like a washcloth? Ah, we've got the nerve thing there. Ooh, right, okay. Man, this is really cool, actually. And it says Eva Zero there. Well, 
This is really interesting. So it feels like it's a hand towel of some kind, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, it's got the the Hermec design like um, in the background, I think. So yeah, that's actually kind of cool. And I suppose, really, you could just hang this up on a wall or something as a kind of wall scroll thing. It wouldn't quite work, but, you know, I just, I don't know if I'd want to dry my hands on this. The material feels kind of like, you know, it's quite absorbent, but I don't know, I'd feel a bit weird about doing it. Alright, so what is our manga this month? Is this the correct? Nope. It is. Oh, man! Yo! Okay, right. So, I will level with everyone. I, I kind of liked Sword Art Online. Um... It's not, not the best series I watched or anything, you know, I don't even know if I'd put it in my top, like, 20 or anything, but I really liked Season 2, which was Gun Gale Online, the um, first-person shooter thing. I thought that was a really cool thing. And so this is, um, this is the Sword Art Online alternative, which is, I think, set in that world, but with different characters. So this is actually something I've added to my list uh, to watch. I didn't realise there was a manga of it. Oh, I suppose... Is it based off the manga or whatever? And obviously, as with other uh, things, this is a loot, uh, loot anime exclusive like cover thing. Very shiny, incredibly shiny. So I'm guessing maybe the regular like all these parts are white instead of shiny. But yeah, I'll I'll quickly flick through it just to show you guys. This is indeed a full manga volume, which is very nice. It's it's always nice to get these. As I have said before, it is it is very slightly annoying. That you only get issue one, you know, volume one, sorry, and then never get the chance to continue it through loot anime. I think that would be kind of cool if you could maybe, I don't know, get a few, you know, like, you'd receive a few volume ones. You could maybe, like, I don't know, check this or, like, hey, I'd like volume two of this thing instead of, you know, because you do kind of end up with volume one of 12 different series at the end of the year. If you subscribe for, like, three years... You started a ton of manga series, and it's like, hey, I guess I can either buy all of them, or just have volume one. But, you know, it it's the thought that counts, though. And I really do like the variant covers. Um, yeah, this one especially is really, really nice. And I believe that's about it. But, oh, wait. We have a post... I'm going to take a look at this, and I'll be right back. All right, then. So this is a advert for... Um, the fact they're showing the um, Bardock OVA thing and the um, oh Fusion Reborn, one of the movies, and on the back is uh, the Broly movies. Only thing is, d uh, coming to the US and Canada, fantastic. I don't live there, so I don't really care. If anything, it's just worse that it's telling me I'll never get there. Ooh, okay, and so, finally, our poster... Uh, slash booklet about the items this month is Astro Boy themed. So the theme is Defend, um, as I can barely get it in there. So we've got the exclusive Space Dandy t shirt, which is very nice. We've got that Astro Boy t shirt, which is very nice. The pin, hang on, I'm gonna have to fold this. Alright, so this is indeed the um, cover art of Volume 1 of Rising of the Shield Hero. Uh, and along with the pin, pin you also get uh, chapters 1 to 6 unlocked at um, Loot Crate, like their website. Which is very cool. I haven't got round to reading No Game No Life yet, but I think you get the first two chapters with that one. We have an exclusive Evangelion Fitness Towel. There we are, so <laughs> in keeping with the um, My Hero Academia water bottle from last month, we've now got a fitness towel. To keep us dry, I suppose. And, um, yeah, and this is the Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online Manga Volume 1. And, of course, the poster on the back. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. So I don't know if that's actually taken from the manga or whatever. But, yeah, as I said, like, that guy's hands are massive and his feet are sort of as well. That's really cool, actually. That's... That's even better than the um, Attack on Titan one from last month, I think, because, yeah, that's just really nice. And also, we'll take a quick look into 
the box. Ah, I see. Oh, it can double out to being a suitcase, I think. Um, which I guess I could try doing. Um, yeah, I'll give it a shot and I'll be right back. Alright, so I folded it up. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, it's got the loot anime thing in the back there, and it says loot anime underneath, which is a bit of an interesting one. And it's got the fake handle thing there. Um, yeah, defend, I guess, like a lockbox or whatever. So yeah, looking at it, it's it's been quite an interesting month. I will say, I have noticed they're giving two t-shirts away, and not particularly any, like, items, as it were. So we've got the poster, which is very nice, to be fair. Uh, the the manga is always nice and like that's that's a staple of it. I understand. Um, the fitness towel thing, as I said, I could probably like hang this up actually. To be fair, because I'm not gonna, I'm not sure who exactly would take this to a gym. Uh, <laughs> I think I think you would get some slightly weird looks. Not necessarily, you know, abuse, but I don't imagine many people will understand the Evangelion reference. But yeah, and the other thing, well, I mean, there is the pin, I suppose, but the other things are two t-shirts, which, to be fair, t-shirts are very nice, and, like, I probably would subscribe to a anime t-shirt thing anyway, to be honest, so, you know, the fact I'm getting other things as well is really nice. Kind of maybe hoping next month isn't a fitness-related thing. The water bottle's really useful, and I've been using it. The fitness towel, you know, I might use, but... I'd like sort of a figure or a statue or something. That would be really nice. But again, who knows? Uh, we have one more month to decide if I want to keep on doing this. And that will be September's one. Which I think has something themed after uh, Agretsuko or Aggressive Retsuko. Which is the um, the Netflix anime about the red panda who works in the like, office and stuff. I've, I've seen the first few episodes. It's pretty good. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you do want to watch some more of my stuff... And for a playlist there and some random videos. And yeah, that's uh, that wraps it up, really. So, uh, until next time, goodbye.